Good evening and welcome to News 24. This is Tamima Islam with the top news of the day. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has said that to tackle the COVID-19 situation in the country, Bangladesh Awami League suspended all activities of celebrating Mujib year and now cancelled the formality of the 71st founding anniversary of the party. She made the remarks at the st start of the general discussion of the ongoing budget session in the parliament on Tuesday morning. Meanwhile, the Premier said that her party has suspended all the activities that create a public gathering for the well-being of the the people as the safety of the people is more important. Bangladesh Awami League, the country's oldest political party which led the nation in the Liberation War in 1971, is celebrating its 71st founding anniversary today amid a different reality due to coronavirus pandemic. Awami League leaders, along with its General Secretary Ubadul Qadir, paid tributes to Bangabundu by placing floral wreaths at the portrait of Father of the Nation Bangabundu, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, at Dhanmundi Road number. 32 in the morning. At the time, Qadir said that it is Awami League's tradition to stand by the people in natural calamities on any crisis in the country. Meanwhile, led by Awami League Presidium member Jahangir Kabir Nonok, Joint General Secretary AFM Bahauddin Nasim, Organizing Secretary SM Kamal Hussain, and member Shahabuddin Faraji paid homage at the shrine of the father of the nation in Gopal Ganj's Tungipara. Bangladesh today confirmed 43 more deaths from the novel coronavirus and 3,412 new cases of infection after testing 16,292 samples in 65 labs in the last 24 hours. With this, the death toll from the deadly virus rose to 1,545 and the number of total infections stood at 1,19,198. Additional Director General of DGHS, Professor Sir Dr. Nasima Sultana made the disclosure during a virtual briefing today. Meanwhile, Dhaka North City Corporation DNCC has extended the lockdown imposed on Dhaka's East Rajabajar neighborhood, considered a COVID-19 red zone by seven days. DNCC Mayor Atikul Islam declared the extension on Tuesday morning after visiting the area. With no end to the ongoing global COVID-19 pandemic in sight, the numbers of fatalities due to the deadly virus have crossed the 4.74 lakh mark out of the more than 9.21 million cases reported from across the world thus far. In the last 24 hours, Mexico has had the highest number of deaths, with 1,044 deaths bringing the country's death toll to about 22,000. The second highest death toll was 748 in Brazil. In addition, 31,000 people have been infected in a single day in the United States and 24,000 in Brazil. More than 11 lakh 11,000 people have already been infected in the country. However, 4.95 patients across the globe have recovered during this time. Saudi Arabia has banned international visitors from attending the Hajj this year in a bid to contain COVID-19. Only a very limited number of pilgrims, less than 1,000 from various nationalities already living in the kingdom, will be allowed to perform Hajj this year, according to a press release issued by Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Meanwhile, Shahadat Hussein Taslim, president of the Hajj Agencies Association of Bangladesh Hub, said those who have registered for the Hajj this year Year will get the chance to perform Hajj on a priority basis next year. Bangladesh's upcoming test series against New Zealand in August-September has been postponed, Bangladesh Cricket Board BCB said on Tuesday. Bangladesh and New Zealand were supposed to play a two-match test series that is part of ICC World Test Championship. However, BCB Chief Executive Officer Nizamuddin Choudhury in a press release said that in the present COVID-19 pandemic scenario, hosting a full cricket series in August 2020 will be a challenge in terms of 
health preparations and the board cannot take chances with the safety and health of players, support staff and related stakeholders. Under these circumstances, Bangladesh Cricket Board BCB and New Zealand Cricket NZC have felt that the best way forward would be to defer the series. That's all the news for today. Thank you for watching News 24. Please stay with us.